Hi guys, this is Joe from Borderwinds Homestead. I'm in the process of redoing this video. Just need to get a hold of some double coated fleece for new video demonstration on this. But in the meanwhile, I've increased the volume and I hope you can enjoy and learn the technique of how to dehair a double coated fleece. Thanks. Uh, trying to demonstrate how to dehair a fleece or separate a double coated tape. I have some double coated Iceland up here and what I am going to do is a um, hand pair of Louette hand combs, the mini combs, these are the single row and I'm going to kind of tease apart my Icelandic fleece and actually this right here is the outer coat and I'm separating that out so you can actually just if it's easy enough, dry enough, and washed well, um, you can just kind of tug at it and just barely get it out. Um, here, and I know you can't see it very well because of this camera, but here is the undercoat, what I'm trying to get out and keep, and there's still some of the outer coat on it. I know I have to have a white background too. But to use the combs to separate your places, you want to catch the undercoat and put it on your tines and then just gently pull out the longer hairs. This works the same for alpaca and llama, um, yeah, especially on a really hairy batch of that. Well, I again, oops, I got this tangled. I'll grab another lock. Kind of tease it apart a little bit at the bottom. Here, this sheep was sheared too late, and so it Icelandics ruled their coats, which, you know, kind of, it kind of shut it. And as you can see, here is where it rude. And then the shearer came in and sheared. And so what happens is it actually kind of, you get a whole bunch of waste. Because that would be the equivalent of a second cut. It's nice soft stuff. You can felt with it and everything. But to me it's kind of a waste. And a shame at the same time. Again, you just want to kind of set it on there, and then you just pull it, and the outer coat comes right off, and show it to you, so there's that coat, and then you'll still, you still might see some guard hairs, or the outer coat, and then you just pull it off, throw that in the bin, and then in your keeper bin, and to the lock, I think that hand's in the way. So I'll usually rest that, tease it apart, set it on there, and then just pull. And then get that second layer. And this is the really nice, really super soft undercoat, and that's what we're saving. Miss Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook too uh, where you'll get the most up-to-date goings on of what's going on here. Don't forget to about our Kickstarter. We're getting into the last week of that and we still need some help on getting the bunny roof shed updated, upgraded and with getting our greenhouse. And the icon at the top right corner gives you a, a link to our blog where we have links for all the tools that I've used or any websites that I preference. Thanks. And all your feedback that I get helps me decide what videos I'm going to do next for you. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.